hello guys i'm back with a new video so in today's video i'm going to be showing you all a leaning feature how to make it in uh, roblox studio so um this leaning system is basically there in most of the games like rainbow six siege let me just show you a clip of how it looks Reloading! so let's begin this video so um so this is how it's gonna work so um, Roblox has a thing called humanoid in each player if y'all did not know anyways in humanoid there's something called camera offset um, camera offset is basically uh, an offset for the camera like y'all will get it um, so uh, so I'll get into the game and show y'all how camera offset works and then I will show y'all how to implement it for the leaning feature once you're here, um, and if you go to workspace and go to the player humanoid, uh, you can change the camera offset here. So camera offset works X, Y, Z. So X is gonna be what we change since it's gonna be horizontal. Um, so uh, Y is basically the alright. So the Y is basically from uh, the vertical way. So if I put 5 it will go up and if I put uh, minus 5 it will go down and if I just put 0 it will go back to the way it was um, but in the camera offset uh, is it is like how far from the camera you are so if I put 10 it will be so far and you can't as you can see alright um, so I'm gonna just put it to zero and go back to X and show you what I mean. So in X, if I put it to three, then it will go to the right. The player doesn't move, but the camera moves. And if I go to minus three, it will lean. Oh, minus thirty-three. All right. it will lean to the left so that's what we're gonna implement using a script so yeah let's begin anyways in starter player I'm gonna go to starter character scripts and insert a local script you can name it whatever you want uh, that does not matter anyways inside the local script you don't want the hello world so you need some um, variables so for example um, you need the character so So it's going to be script dot parent since we are in the starter character script. So it will be script dot parent. <coughs> Sorry. And next you wanna you wanna get humanoid. So humanoid is inside the character. All right. And then you need to get some services. For example, use input service. Oh my god, bro. I bu I bought a new keyboard and it's pretty hard to type in it. Oh my god. All right. Um then we need a tween service because we need to animate the camera to lean. If not, it will be a big problem. So, tween service. Um once you get tween service, um that's pretty much it and now you need to code it to like um, so that you can press E to lean to the right and Q to lean to the left so for that we're gonna use the event called um, input began that's why we wanted uh, use input service so inside the parenthesis it's gonna be key uh, key and T T means is typing. I can even say is typing. Yeah. So here, mm, all right. So use input service. No. So this key is gonna be whatever the key we press in the keyboard. So now if I press space, then it will be space. Um. So we should check if uh, if the key is something we want it to be. So if so if key dot key code equals to nm dot nm dot key code dot e then 
so over here I just said uh, if the key is E then it's gonna run so I'm just gonna copy this and under the end for this uh, function I'm gonna put another function like this and change this to Q so it's gonna go to the left too so here we are going to put E again and yeah twin it so uh, we need the twin service colon create inside of this uh, we are going to give the property to animate it's going to be humanoid and we need to we need to give it a twin info uh, so twin info is basically the information so what I'm going to actually do is do the twin info here so y'all can understand it so uh, I'll just say ti equals to twin inf info dot new so the first um, property in twin info new is how long it takes to lean how long it takes to animate so I'll say 0 0.5 um, the next is easing style so there are different type of easing styles but I use sign and then the easing direction number repeat count bull reverse number delay time but I'm not gonna put any of those because let it stay in default so once you got the twin info you can just type in T and then we need to give it a goal for that we need to open a table a data table so whatever is inside humanoid can be specified here the property of it so there's a offset property so I'm just gonna use a camera offset equals to vector vector 3 dot new since it's a vector value and since it's E it should go to the right so I'll just say 300 zero zero. so now if I press E then it will go to the right just after I put play here um now it's the same thing which we are gonna do here so I'm just gonna copy paste and instead of positive 3 it's gonna be a minus 3 alright now it should work but when we leave our uh, leave the E button like the key it should go back to how it was so to do this I can do uh, user input service um, so input ended I'm gonna connect it to a function right here um, key and we can say if key code we get to nm dot key code dot e or key we're gonna put an all here since they both are gonna do the same thing I'll explain it in a while hold on so nm dot key code dot q then the reason I'm in input ended put doing this is because we only want uh, when we leave both of these keys we only want it to uh, animate one side like just the just this but we're just gonna set this to zero we I can even do the same method here but it's it's gonna be like the same I, like the tweening thing is gonna be the same it's gonna be zero 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 so I just put all and did this now it's pretty much done um, I'm gonna insert a part in the workspace and um, yeah just do some testing like that this is too big alright so now let me just get into the game as you can see when I press E uh, it goes to the it goes to the right and when I press Q it goes to the left the camera goes to the left alright so in first person if I'm here I can just lean like that even though the play is not looking um... So as you can see I'm leaning here and then let's quickly lean over here too alright as you can see I did it so if I want more like this I can do it and if I wanna like do an animation where when you lean even your head pokes out from the leaning place uh, I can do that too so yeah just let me know anyways uh, peace out hope you enjoyed this video I'll see you in the next video